Look at these big, fluffy beauties. One is a Maine Coon, while the other is a Siberian. But what exactly are the differences between them, and which one is better for you? I'll also discuss a topic that can definitely tip the scale in favor of the Siberian. Let's start. History Maine Coons come from the United States, but no one's sure how they got there. Many legends are trying to explain their origin, but one thing's certain, they've been around for centuries. In fact, the Maine Coon is one of the first breeds recognized by cat associations. On the other hand, the Siberian comes from Russia's forests and has been around for at least 1,000 years. However, they've been recognized as a breed much more recently than Maine Coons. Fun fact, some people think Siberians might be the ancestors of Norwegian forest cats. Moreover, the latter might be the Maine Coon's ancestors, so these three breeds could be more related than we know so far. By the way, I also have videos comparing Maine Coons to Norwegian forest cats, and the latter to Siberians, if you're interested. Now, let's discuss their appearances. Siberians and Maine Coons are considered big kitties, but they come in different sizes. Siberians are medium to large cats, weighing from 8 to 17 pounds. According to some breeders, the original Siberian cats weighed more, a trait that's been diminished while developing the breed. Maine Coons, on the other hand, weigh from 10 to 22 pounds, with some individuals reaching heavier weights. So there's a clear weight gap between these two breeds. Also, there's a difference between their lengths. Maine Coons are clear winners, as they are the world's longest cats. But both breeds can get pretty large, a huge plus for people looking for big kitties. Fun fact, Maine Coons and Siberians take a long time to grow, up to five years. Their sizes, however, aren't the only different traits. Let's learn how you can tell these breeds apart. Coats. Both breeds are designed to survive in cold climates. Maine Coons have double-layered coats, while Siberians have developed triple ones. And here's a helpful clue to tell them apart. Maine Coons coats should be smooth and silky, while the ones of Siberians can vary in texture, from soft to coarse, depending on color. Also, Maine Coons coats should appear shaggy. Other than that, both cats have medium long to long furs and heavy ruffs when mature. Their hair is uneven and should be shorter on the shoulders. And here's another clue for distinguishing these breeds. Siberians' stomach and breeches hair can have slight curls. Even though this isn't a rule, let's talk about their colors. While Maine Coons and Siberians come in most colors and patterns, Maine Coons can't be pointed, like a Siamese. Also, they can't be chocolate, lavender, or display Abyssinian-type ticked patterns. Siberians, on the other hand, come in all colors and patterns, including color point. In some countries, this variety is called Neva Masquerade. So if you have a pointed cat, it's not a Maine Coon. And if you're into color point patterns, go for Siberians. Ears. Both breeds have pretty large ears, but Maine Coons' ears are bigger. Lynx tips are highly desirable for Maine Coons, while for Siberians, not so much. That being said, not all Maine Coons have lynx tips, and that's okay. Here's something that might help identify them. Siberians tend to have short and thin hair over the back of the ear. Tails. Both breeds have well-furnished tails, but they pose a significant difference. Siberians' tails are medium in length, somewhat shorter than their bodies, and slightly blunt-ended. On the other hand, Maine Coons' tails are long, at least the same length as their bodies. Here's a perfect example of a proper Maine Coon tail. So look at this when trying to tell them apart, or use your measuring tape. Body structure. Siberians should have medium-length barrel-shaped bodies, while Maine Coons should have long, rectangular ones. Both breeds, however, are muscular and broad-chested. What can their eyes tell us? Well, both breeds should have open, alert, and expressive eyes. Siberians' eyes are large and almost round, while Maine Coons' eyes are large and slightly oval. However, they too look round when fully open. Their eyes should be wide set, and the ones of pointed Siberians can only be blue. Since there are no obvious differences here, let's move on and talk about their head structures, as they provide the most significant clues. If you look closely, you'll notice their heads aren't as similar as they appear at first glance. First of all, the Maine Coon has high cheekbones, which gives him a bolder look. However, it's pretty hard to notice the differences in cheekbones placement, so don't exhaust yourself with this. The Maine Coon's face is longer than a Siberian's, which is visible even in the case of Siberian cats with powerful muzzles. This brings me to the next one. Maine Coon's muzzles are more prominent than the ones of Siberians. In the case of Siberians, the transition between the side of the head and the muzzle is gentle, while in Maine Coon's, it's abrupt. Maine Coon's muzzles are also longer. We can spot even more clues when looking at their 
profile. Here, you can clearly see this Maine Coon's rectangular and protruding muzzle, and you also notice his blunt ending chin. When looking at Siberians, their muzzles are noticeably softer, and their chins are well-rounded. Unlike Maine Coons, Siberians don't have rectangular muzzles. Here's another clue to look for. Siberians should have a pretty flat area on their foreheads, as in this picture. On the other hand, Maine Coons have slightly concave foreheads, as this gorgeous fellow does. Of course, keep in mind that individual features can vary, and not all cats from a breed display these traits perfectly. Fun fact, some cats have more toes than they should, which is typically seen as a fault. In the case of Maine Coons, some associations accept polydactyl cats as a separate breed. Now that you know how to tell these breeds apart, let's see which one is better for you by discussing their personalities, grooming needs, and health issues. And if you followed these tips to identify your cat's breed, tell me in the comments. Personality. Both breeds are slow to mature and act like kittens for a long time. They also remain pretty playful as adults. Maine Coons and Siberians are both seen as gentle giants. They are affectionate without being pushy, loyal, and love being near their humans at all times. Still, there is a catch. Maine Coons and Siberians alike can become mischievous if bored. They can learn to open drawers or can resort to chewing cables. These cats have higher than average energy levels and are smart, so they need to be entertained. Make sure to take this into account if you want any of them. That being said, both breeds are docile and laid back, with Siberians possibly being a bit less docile than Maine Coons. Basically, these breeds are very similar in terms of temperament, and if you want to learn everything about their personalities, make sure to check my 101 videos about them after watching this video, Grooming. Both breeds are fluffy fellows, but their grooming needs are different, in theory. Maine Coons should have a smooth coat that is naturally dirt repellent and not prone to forming mats. However, some individuals can have cottony fur, which is more prone to getting tangled. If you want a lower-maintenance Maine Coon, make sure to get one with a silky coat. Siberian's texture, on the other hand, varies but is more prone to forming mats, so Siberians are typically higher maintenance than Maine Coons. Now, let's talk about a potential deal-breaker, allergies. If you're allergic to cats, you're much more likely to tolerate living with a Siberian, as these cats are considered low allergenic. But if you're allergic, make sure to spend some time with any cat before buying one. The same goes if you've never had contact with a cat before. Health issues. Both breeds are, unfortunately, susceptible to developing HCM. Besides this, Siberians aren't known for being prone to anything else. Maine Coons, on the other hand, can also suffer from other health conditions. If this topic is of high importance to you, I advise you to go for a Siberian. Price. Both breeds are pricey, since breeders spend a lot trying to have healthy cats. Prices can be as high as $3,000 for a Maine Coon and $2,000 or more for a Siberian. Also, both breeds are easy to find in the U.S., judging by the number of existing catteries. If you want to pay a substantial amount of money for a cat, get one from a breeder. I'll make a dedicated video on how to not get scammed. But if you can't afford one, and even if you do, please consider adopting. There are millions of cats looking for a forever home, and these cats are super cheap or even free, and they love you just just as much. Wrapping it up, both breeds are fluffy, energetic, intelligent, and their coats can be prone to forming mats. Being a bit smaller, Siberians need less space than Maine Coons, but not by much since they're pretty active. Both cats are pretty pricey, which is to be expected from a pedigreed cat. And now, get to know them even better by watching my dedicated videos about them. See you there!